Hi, my name's Simon from TradeRoomPlus.com and today we're going to be looking at the assets of the day, which are global indices. We'll start off by having a look at the FTSE 100 that we always do. Um, quite interesting to see how the market has found a little bit of stability here. And we had these lows down here that I was interested in around uh, 5659 and on the 28th of October we just sort of smashed through those levels. Unfortunately, it looks like we're just popping back up on a very strong day here on the uh, second. I was hoping we're going to find a little bit of resistance on there and then potentially fade back into the range. Of course, we do have the US election happening tonight. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. I mean, I'm not going to be taking any positions over the US election because it's pretty unpredictable really as, as to what could as to what could happen. Um, just looking at this FTSE, interesting we've got this 50% retracement um, which lines up very nicely with these lows back at uh, 5764. So what we're interested in is looking to potentially open up that level for maybe for a short, maybe a pullback to look for a short if that level holds. Alternatively the market might come up to it, bounce off it and then wedge up against it. If it wedges against it then we'll be interested in taking a uh, break long on that level but uh, that's certainly a key level that i'm interested in on the footsie since especially since this uh um level that, uh, that i've mentioned at uh, five six six zero has gone that was definitely the most interesting sort of level that i i wanted to trade but it'll be interesting to see what happens because obviously the uk is going uh into a lockdown again from the or at least england should i say um from the uh from thursday coming up so the coronavirus certainly isn't done with us at the time being. and I don't think we'll see the same sort of volatility we saw when it initially came uh, to us in March or April, but we may well see some uh, increases in volatility. Certainly going to be some trading opportunities as well. And once the US election is out of the way, then we may find markets settle back down and choose some directionality, uh, whether the US markets want to progress to all-time highs or or not we'll have to see but the first is still looking weak it's only been you know a day before the last where we've had a new a new low here on the 30th of october so it's not like i'm particularly bullish on the footsie as it has been in a bit ever since it made this high back at the 9th of june it has been gradually making lower highs and lower lows but for me um the key level at the moment is this five seven six four so we'll see um if that comes into play uh, a little bit later on in the week look at the dax the german stock market we really fell down um, quite heavily three very very risk off days and we again found a little bit of stability made a new low on the 30th and then today we've broken back into the existing range um, so we can look at retracements once again on the fib um, to see if there's any levels that are uh, particularly taking our fancy and doesn't quite line up as neatly does it we've got this significant low back here from the 31st july that may become resistance around that 50 percent retracement but the level i'm most immediately interested in is looking at these lows down here at 11,954 to see if the market wants to come up, bounce off that level, and then potentially enter back and uh, break into range. That would definitely be interesting for me. But again, it's all going to depend on the US election. Of course, this might just be a pullback before the market um, continues to fall down as, uh, as the coronavirus news may be more significant. Now, we can have a look at uh, a longer-term Fibonacci retracement here, going from the post-corona lows to uh, highs. And we'll see we just sort of tagged that uh, 38 spot 2 level as well. We, we actually had a very, very nice um, resistance becoming support level here. Let um, me just make that a little bit clearer. I'm doing blue, make it a bit thicker. And, you know, very, very nice technical price action there corroborated with the FIB. I mean, it'd be pretty difficult to just take a long there. I'd be quite brave to. But you can see here how we had this high back here that was quite significant market comes down to it find support and then bounce off very common principle market finds resistance comes back find support on that balance point as well and what you often see is that um didn't quite happen with here but um you'll often see that this length a is similar to uh this length b in terms of distance which it probably is to be fair so it shows it's a nice little balance point there that um that can be worked from so if we if we do con if we go put back down and start putting pressure on this um, 11534 level then i'll be interested to see if we we can break short i mean we have got some very strong rejections um bit of consolidation around here then bump engulfed it straight away so it may be a change in behavior we've got the short-term downtrend we may be heading back for a, at least a short-term uptrend but again we'll have to see what happens once the election is out of the way and of course the us election doesn't necessarily conclude um tuesday wednesday 
uh, you know, if it's close and there's disputes and things like that, um, then it could well drag on for some time and potentially go through the US legal system. So it's not a given. It's going to be out of the way straight away. So we may well find it uh, dragging on a little bit longer. So looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, it started rolling over today. It's actually had a quite a strong finish after after a little bit of chop. Um, we saw it sort of nearly come down towards this uh, 26,000 area, just sort of peaked above by 67 points. So we probably want to redraw that fib. I mean, it broke through the entire retrace. It had a little bounce, I think, intraday bounce, but it wasn't anything to trade on a daily time frame. Um, so again, it'll be interesting to see what happens if we've found a little bit of stability. Um, and generally, looking at the previous data, the day before the election, are generally positive days, to be fair. So the hist historic statistics are on our side there. There's nothing obvious back on the retracement for the fibs that interests me. No real confluence. I want it to drop out, sort of jump out at me, should I say, um, quite obviously. I was hoping we were going to stall and stop at um, 26,900 and then we could have worked from that, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Like I say, for me, I'm probably just going to sit out until the uh, at least the election night is over and then see where we are uh, with things and then get back to trading. I don't trade every day. That's no problem for me. So I'm just interested in some of these these big levels that have been established to see if the market comes down there and reacts and then I'll be looking to take a trade. But if I have to sit out for a day or two, that's no big issue really. I know a lot of professional traders who won't be trading over the election, but it all depends on your appetite to risk, your methodology and your strategies and things like that. So a few levels to have a look at. Um, probably mainly looking to sit on the sidelines potentially over the election period, but then we'll see what happens and we will go from there. So thank you for joining me. I hope you'll join me next week for the assets of the day, which are global indices. Thank <laughs> you.